Whoa, even the icon on the title screen is smaller than normal. That's so funny. Oh man, and even the level icons are smaller than normal. Oh wow, but it turns big once the level starts. Okay, so here's World 1-1 Super Bell Hill, but it is going to be tidy. Whoa, 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 that cutscene's so weird. Okay, we've got a pretty big Mario over here, pretty small world over here. Man, and the Goombas, wow, they move so quickly. Okay, we can still get the Super Bell, which is nice. Oh yeah, and there aren't going to be any pipes, because when you shrink down pipes in this game, pipes get really weird when you shrink them down in this game. Wow. You can get through here pretty quickly. Oh, and there's a green star over there. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Got the green star. All right. Oh, and there's no clear pipe over here. Okay, so we can just jump over there. Wait a minute. Look at that Super Bell. What is this Super Bell doing? Whoa, and we can climb up the tree, even though there's no tree, we can climb up past where the tree is. Wow, that camera, wow, that turned the wrong way for a second. Okay, we've still got a pretty fast rabbit over here. The world is looking pretty small. You know what, let's head into the pipe, because there's probably going to be a stamp in here. Okay, Mario's bigger than the pipe itself. Oh man, this room's looking very small, and of course there aren't going to be any clear pipes here, because clear pipes look really weird when you shrink them in this game. Okay, let's just continue on this way. That camera, what is, what in the world is happening to the camera here? Why can I not turn this way? Okay, hopefully I can, okay. And we can get the green star. Okay, 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 that was a little weird with the camera there. These coins, are these coins okay? What is wrong with these coins? Coins, are you all right? Oh, now they can move all of a sudden. Man, these coins are looking quite large. Oh man, that flag is looking interesting. What will happen? <laughs> the flag itself goes higher than the flagpole. That's very funny. Let's head to World 1-2, Koopa Troopa Cave. Okay, looking pretty tiny over here. Oh, the funny thing is there's normally an invisible wall up here that prevents you from climbing up. Yeah, and you can even see in the background that's where the end of the level is, which is very funny. Only there's a way to go around it and get to it. Okay, we end up here. Wow. Wow, that Koopa is stuck over there. This Koopa is having some trouble over here. This is a tight spot for a little Koopa like that. Whoa, the pipe! The pipe is still here! Yeah, so you can see how weird pipes become. Oh, and the Koopa shells themselves are smaller. It's not just the Koopas, but the shells themselves are also shrunken down. Okay, let's go into this bonus area here. It's a bit difficult to move through this area as Mario like this. Okay, oh, and it's a little green star, and we're carrying a little shell. Okay, let's just head across through here, go through another pipe. Man, that pipe makes you go fast. Oh, and there's a warp box there. Okay, it makes sense, because instead of a pipe, there's just a warp box there that brings you here, so that's nice. And can we exit? And we can exit. This is incredible. Okay, there's a pipe up there, but let's not take that. Let's just go through the level. Oh, that Goomba stack. This honestly looks huge right now. Because the Goomba stack, its size isn't adjusted. It shows up as regular size. So in comparison to the, oh no. So in comparison, no, oh no, that's not the top of the flag. Oh man. <laughs> in comparison to the Goombas that we are seeing, this Goomba stack is looking huge. Man, the charge and chuck is so tiny. Let's first check on the Toad House. Let's see if that's going to be different or not. Oh man, yes, yes, things are definitely smaller here. Can I get a present? I can. There we go. We got the present. Can I exit? Okay, good, good. I can still exit. The fire flower is bigger than the toad itself. All right. Now let's go to the charge and chuck blockade. Oh, and it just grows when we get into the level. They okay, got some little charge and chucks here. Shouldn't be a problem for our cat Mario. And there we go. I'm wondering what the Plessy level is going to be like. Okay, since we are Cat Mario, I'm expecting that Mount Beanpole is going to be pretty easy now that it's shrunken down. Let's see. Okay, the green star is here. Man, we could climb up so high. We can float up over here. Wait a minute, are we going to go here? Do we still have to go in here? Can I get in here? I'd like to get in there. Okay, getting into that pipe was actually kind of difficult. Let's see. Wait! Can I step on this? Okay, good, I can step on it. I was thinking that I couldn't step on it. Oh, okay, that's pretty easy with giant Mario. Well, Mario isn't giant, Mario's regular size. It's just that the level is shrunken down. Okay, this is so easy to climb on up. Hold on, I don't think we even have to do the cat swipes there. We could just make it straight into the cloud cannon like that with this spin jump. 
Oh, man. This is actually scary because it looks like it's going to be very easy to fall. Oh, and you can see Mount Beanpole in the distance there. That's very funny. Don't change the camera angle on me randomly. Okay, and there's the boss. That Piranha Plant boss isn't looking too big. But we can head up. Whoa. Okay. And we can head on over to the end of the level. Just have to climb up the pole there. Okay, I'm very curious to see what Plessy's Plunging Falls is going to be like. All right, looking kind of small. Anything back here? Okay, it looks like we can't actually go back there. So let's just hop onto our little Plessy. Man, Cat Mario's looking pretty big compared to Plessy right now, and Plessy's shadow is looking a little off right now. It's looking almost like an 8-bit character, the way that it's moving. Okay, although we have a little Plessy, our Plessy still moves very quickly. Wow! And our Plessy jumps incredibly high. It jumps a lot higher than I expected to. Is Plessy moving faster than normal? Wait, can I get down there? Maybe not. Can I go through here? What? What? Okay, sure. Okay, we'll go over if we can't go under. I can't tell if Plessy is faster than normal or not. No, I wanted to go over there! Okay, I guess we'll go this way. We'll get the stamp. Or not. Whenever a Plessy level is modded, it always becomes so much more difficult than normal. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. Whether we make Plessy's Plunging Falls backwards or we make Champion's Road into a Plessy level, Plessy levels are just always more difficult. Can we go through? Okay, okay, okay. We still... Whoa! Wow! That was really something. That glitchy camera angle there. We can jump so incredibly high. No! But we still miss the green star. Wait, you know what? Is Plessy actually going faster? Or does it just seem faster because the level is smaller? Please! Okay, 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 okay. We got the step. There's step one. No, I don't want to face backwards, actually. Thank you, camera. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. That's what we wanted. And there we go. Top of the goal pole. Very nice. I'm wondering if the roulette room has been adjusted. Let's check on that. Okay, here we go. Wow, this is tiny! Can I even get these? Okay, you can still get them. Can't climb up very high here. Oh, that's where the light comes from. Interesting light over there. Alright, Switch Scramble Circus is next. Okay, um, okay, I was wondering, can I even step on them? The collision is so weird here. It's like, I'm floating. What? Okay, I can drop down on it. All right, let's continue through the level. Man, these hitboxes are kind of weird. Let me up. Let Mario up. No, 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 no. I've got to get up there. Okay, let's get this green star up here. And let's just drop down into that little box there. Okay. Man, you could run through here so quickly. These... This collision's a bit weird. I like how you can see over the heart door. You can see what's coming up next. Whoa, I didn't expect to go up that high right away. Let's try going for these red points. Man. You move quite quickly. Oh, it's just a fire flower. I was hoping it'd be something else. I was hoping it'd be a half bell. Okay, and it's probably going to be this one, unless it's been moved. Yeah, the green star's still there. Nice. Like that we can see above the edges of the level there. Oh, and I think that's the invisible ceiling up there. Hold on, is it? Yeah, right there, as you step over here, you can see that Mario gets pushed down by the invisible ceiling. There we go, let's just step on all these. Oh, man, that was scary. I actually almost fell there. Wow, this cannon's looking a bit different than normal. And you know what? I don't think I even need to step on all those, because I can just do this, get the stab, and then from here, should be able to get the top of the flag easily. There we go, didn't even have to step on all those, very nice. Oh my goodness, the Captain Toad is tiny there, how did I not notice how small Captain Toad was over there? Let's check out this Captain Toad level. Wow, it's looking kind of blurry. Let's see, is the level going to be smaller than normal? Okay, Captain Toad is looking pretty large. Captain Toad is looking pretty large. The level is looking pretty small here. Okay, we can still fit under there. But I don't know how different the level... Wait a minute. Does this go up? Whoa, that's been changed. So it goes up instead of left and right. Oh, man, and these little guys are moving very quickly here. Uh, sure, I'll take the damage. That's fine. 
I don't mind taking that damage. Oh, and that platform's over there. Wait. Oh, that's all of them! Okay, I was thinking there's one more for some reason. I wasn't keeping track of how many I had, but there's the level. All right, let's head to the World 1 Castle Bowser's Highway Showdown. And the castle inside there, it looks kind of small. This castle itself, it looks smaller than normal. Oh, and there we go, it turned big. Okay, so I did remember that it is smaller than normal. <laughs> Even in the cutscene, the castle itself is shrunken down like this. We can see beyond the castle. Man, this is something, this is something. We can see the giant Goombas from the Goomba stack again. Uh-oh, want to be careful here. Very nice. Okay, here we are. Got a nice, got a nice cat suit power up here. Now let's just jump across to there. I think that should be fine. No, I wanted the cat suit power up. Okay, I've got to explode this here. Oh, and that exploded this side too. Well, now do we need the catsuit power up to get up here? Or can I do this? Let's see. Oh, that's good enough. Okay. Well, why does the camera keep facing that way? Not sure why it's doing that. There we go. So there should be a super bell over here. I was worried that it would fall off the level. I really want a super bell power up. I think a super bell power up is nice. There we go. Got the little green star. It's funny seeing a little green star on the big Goomba stack. Whoa. These exploding soccer balls are more dangerous than they normally are, the way that they look right now. It's easier to get hit by these than the regular sized one, I think. Oh! Well, this is looking interesting. Okay, what is this cutscene going to be like? What is Bowser going to be driving on? Oh, there's the hut. Where's Bowser? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Here's Bowser. I think he's smaller than normal. I think Bowser and the highway are both smaller than normal. Yeah, Bowser's looking smaller- Oh my goodness! The soccer balls in his hand are huge, but once he throws it, it turns tiny. Hey, throw another one, Bowser. It's weird, I expect it to be so much bigger when he throws it, but... Once he throws it, it just shrinks down. Because he's gonna pull out another huge- Oh, he's just throwing- He's just vomiting fire right in front of him. Bowser, what's the point of that? What's the point of that? I'm not- I'm just not gonna go there if it's fire. Just- just stop. Just throw a soccer ball instead. I don't want to go there. I don't want to walk into the lava. Just give me an exploding soccer ball. No! I took damage! Okay, let's go to the next area then. So that we can get another super little power- Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I saw something strange. I have to go back so I can show you guys this because I saw something really, really strange over there. Yeah, so that's really funny. Over here, it becomes even more obvious that that Bowser in the background there is a fake Bowser. You can actually see the fake Bowser coming down while the real Bowser was leaving. I have a video talking all about the mechanics of this level. And this is a great example for showing how that works. And there we go, that should be it. Very nice spot the camera chose to focus on. Instead of looking at Bowser, who's back there, we are looking at this edge of the castle with some water here. We don't see Bowser during this cutscene. Bowser's off to the side because he's smaller than normal, so he doesn't go as far. So we don't even see Bowser during this cutscene. But... We head over to the castle now. Oh. <laughs> There's just a little cork right there on top of the Sprixie's head. The Sprixie isn't even in the jar! What's the Sprixie worried about? The Sprixie's like, Mario, Mario, please help! Get this cork off of my head, Mario! It's a cork with a Bowser symbol. We have to get it off of the head of the Sprixie. Will we help now? Wow, the cork is gone! Thank you so much, Mario! You got rid of the cork! And this glass jar that was off to the side also shattered. <laughs> Sprixie looks vertically stretched a bit. Okay, we've got a tiny, tiny conch door canyon over here. Let's see what's inside. Hey, it's not even... Okay, I was about to say it's not even looking that much smaller than normal, but... It is looking pretty small over here. Hey, this is a super bell, right? There we go. My favorite power-up. Wow! These platforms stretch out farther than normal. No, My super bell! Okay, well, let's continue on anyways. Oh, we can probably do this easily. Hopefully. Okay. Very nice! Okay, I was gonna say, please don't fall off the level. Alright, now we can just sneak by these without a problem. Get to the checkpoint flag. This Contour doesn't like that spot right there. Okay, let's just jump across. Man, this is actually kind of hard. Let's climb up here. How high can you get? 
Oh, there's an invisible wall preventing you from going any higher. Man, this place will always give me flashbacks to- Wait a minute, this box is looking weird. There's a box inside a box. This place right here will always give me flashbacks to my mod where I made the floor invisible. Oh, okay, that was super lucky. Okay, 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 we got everything there, we got everything there. I was a bit worried about those sting bees over there. Let's just take out this conch door. Wow, Captain Toad's looking pretty big over here. Hello, Captain Toad. I'd like a green star, thank you. Man, oh, what? What, did they spin through each other? Oh my goodness, this is scarier than usual. And usually this is just a little bit scary, but now it is quite a bit scary. Okay, let's climb up the goal pole, and there we go, top of the goal pole, very nice. We now have access to Puff Prod Peaks, and we've beaten this level before without using any of the touch controls. So I wonder if that's going to be easier now that the level is small. Oh wait, but! I think you do need to use touch controls if you want to get down there. Okay, let's head into here. Oh, and that's where the stamp is, very nice. Can you climb back up? Imagine if you could climb back up here like this. That'd be very funny if you didn't have to use the pipe. Oh, and we can just climb up to the green star like that. Very nice. And then we can just make our way over here. Checkpoint flag. Man, you can do this level so quickly. I'd love to see speedruns of this. Seeing speedruns of this would be really cool. Oh, man, this camera angle. This camera angle. Great recovery. I'm so lucky that I had the Gatsu power up there. All right, now let's just be careful to not fall here because it is very small here, so it's easy to fall off. And we got the green star. Okay, and we end up over here. Oh, and we're still invincible. That's how quickly we did that. That was nice. Okay, so we probably want to land on that platform so we can get this green star over here. B what? What? How did I take damage? I absolutely disagree that I took damage there. Okay, but we are here, so that's fine. And we've still got this. So we can get up to the top of the goal pole. All right, world 2-3, Shadow Play Alley. Oh, and we can carry these guys. Nice. Mario's going to carry his little pet plant with him. <sighs> you fuzzies, how dare you? How dare you fuzzies do that? Wait. Is this going to be what I want? No, it's just coins. Jump across, Mario! Nice. Okay, now what is this area going to be like? Will we get to see what's going on? Wow! I didn't think that we'd see it like this. You can see exactly what's going on here. And there we go. Okay, so we got everything here. Wow, so this place looks quite nice. Oh, I didn't know that you could bounce on this. Wow. I never knew that you could bounce on that. That is very useful. I could use that in a mod somewhere. Okay, now let's just get rid of these blurkers up here. Just eat up some of these blurkers. Take your time, piranha plant. Just eat these blurkers. I just wanna, just wanna head in there. I also wanna get rid of some of the top ones, because I don't know if I'll... Yeah, that's what I was worried would happen. Oh, and I could probably just... There we go. Just slide in there. Get the green star. Man, I wish I had the Katsu power-up. Can I do a rolling long jump through here? I can. That's so nice. Wow! I've also got a tiny Bowser over here. And Captain Toad gives us the green star. Very nice. We bounce on him for good luck. How does Mario fit through that door? Does anyone ask that question? Does anyone ever wonder, how does Mario fit through that door? Uh-oh, this platform isn't going very far. But we still got the top of the goal pole. I don't know where the top of the goal pole is because it extends up slightly higher than what it visually appears as. So I just try to jump up higher than what it looks like it is. Okay, really rolling hills. World 2-4. More like really small hills because the level is shrunken. Haha, <laughs> oh man. Actually is looking pretty small. Okay, so we can get this with Mario. Hopefully we can get this with Mario. Got a little tiny stamp there. That is nice. Let's just head on up here to this green star. Do we get any nice power-ups here? I enjoy very much this new perspective of this level, playing with the level shrunken down. Oh, I forgot that those little tiny Goombas would be there, and those Goombas are even tinier than the other Goombas that are shrunken down. No, 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 you are not taking Mario's catsuit power-up. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice, took care of that guy. Just head through here. Can Mario even fit through there? I don't think I can fit through there now, it's too small. I'm going to have to go up and around. Let's take care of these guys. And another Katsu power -up. This is amazing! Okay, you can see that it's just coins up here now. Let's just get those coins there, that's fine. 
And I think in here there's the... We have to light up all the things and then we get a green star. We have to light up all the tiles. Yes. There's this room. Nice little room to light up. Whoa! We went very, very quickly there for some reason. Okay, but we lit them all up and we get our little green star here. Oh, and you can see the level in the background there. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? That's the level back there. That's where we are going to go. Oh! I didn't expect the pipe to bring us up here. I thought we'd be over there. There we go. Now let's just drop down here, get the green star, and continue to the end of the level once we go into this pipe. Here's the final room. And we can just jump up here and climb to the top of the goal pole. Very nice. Another level complete. This is a really fun one. I liked this one a lot. Really, Rolling Hills is a nice level, especially when it's so small like this. Oh, I forgot that there's a Galoomba blockade before the next level. All right, let's try Mystery House Melee first. I'm guessing this one is also shrunken down. Let's see. Oh, we are in a very tiny box. Welcome to the mystery box. Very mysterious. The mystery is, why is everything so small? I think this is going to be much easier than normal. Oh man, except for the Koopas. The Koopas might be hard to get. Uh, actually, never mind. Okay, and we're just popping into these warp boxes. Oh man! Okay, well at least I got a Super Bell back. I lost the Super Bell, but I got a Super Bell. So everything balanced out. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, okay, this is going fine. This is going fine. Conk doors are some of the most difficult enemies to get rid of in this, I think. <gasps> what? What? How dare the Fire Bro do that? How dare they? But we made it through the Mystery House Melee. All right, let's head to the Big Galoomba Blockade now. Oh, and big is in quotation marks. That's actually such a hilarious addition to add. Yeah, the Galoombas don't look that big, I guess. You know what? The way that I was bouncing on them like that, that makes me think. I wonder what the highest score that anyone has ever gotten in Big Galoomba Blockade has been. Because you can kind of keep bouncing on the Galoombas until time runs out. And if you go on them consecutively without touching the ground, then your score will keep going up. That could be a fun challenge. Okay, double cherry pass. We're going to control multiple Marios in a very tiny level. Okay. We've got two Marios so far. Two Marios and a tiny level. Mario, stop doing long jumps. I don't want you to do long jumps. Man, that Galoomba is just running towards us. That Galoomba doesn't want to rest. Do I want the Fire Flower? You know what? Sure, I'll take it. Why not? Okay, we got the other Double Cherry here. This pipe has been removed because clear pipes are really weird when you shrink them down. Okay, those giant Marios just go through this little pipe. Oh, the Block Steppers aren't shrunken down. Okay, and that's because of these Block Steppers, they probably come from an object called a Block Stepper Generator, I'm pretty sure. So they're not shrunken down. Wait, why is that Mario not jumping? That was very strange. Is there anything here? Oh, and there's no pipe here also, so I'm going to have to bring my Marios up here like this. That's so funny. Man, these Block Steppers are looking humongous. I lost a lot of my Block Steppers. I mean, not my Block Steppers, my double Marios. Okay, well now I only have two Marios. I could probably get a third one over here. But you know what? No, I, I don't think I even need another Mario. Okay, let's defeat that guy. Very easy to defeat him. I think we could probably reach the final green star without filling up this platform. We could probably... Oh! I don't know if I'll need to use the Katsu Pat. Hold on, let me get rid of two of my Marios. Goodbye, Mario. Goodbye, Mario number one. And goodbye, Mario number two. There we go. Now then, can we... Maybe we could do it. Let's see. Okay, good, we can do it. Very nice, very nice. Didn't have to use the cat suit power-up that I have in storage. And we can get the top of the goal pole, too. All right, the World 2 Castle Bowser's Bullet Bill Brigade. I'm- Whoa! Why does it look bigger? It didn't look smaller. It actually looked bigger over there. That's very interesting. Man, these block steppers are humongous. We've got humongous block steppers, but the tanks are looking pretty small. I don't want that. I don't want that power-up. I do not want it because I want to keep my Katsu power up in storage. Oh, that's where the bullet bills come from. Nice. I'm guessing if you get all these, do you get a fire flower again? Why is that bullet bill there? Bullet bill, what are you doing there? Why are these bullet bills facing this way? Where in the world are they going? What is going on here? Wow, Mario's, oh my goodness. <laughs> this is, uh, Mario doesn't look how I thought he would. Mario's looking a little different right now. There's something different about Mario right now. I just can't put my finger on it. Whoa. Okay, there's another green star for us. Okay, don't want the bullet bills to get us. 
Okay, took care of those, very nice. And we can get the final green star that's back here. <gasps> What's beyond there? Wait a minute. There's a bullet bill launcher over there that's launching them the wrong way. I'm guessing that's because of how everything was shrunken down. I don't think that's normally there. All right, time for Box Mario to take on Boo Boo. Whoa! Boo Boo, what happened? Boo Boo, what happened to you? Okay, and you can't go very high because the ceiling's pretty low over here. So I can't use my usual safe strategy over here. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is quite dangerous. This is in fact very dangerous. But we took out Boo Boo without any problems. It's very bright out here in the level, isn't it? Well, let's just continue through to this little castle here. Oh no, another Sprixie with a cork on its head! Oh my goodness, we've really got to help these Sprixies. Why would Bowser put corks on all the heads of these Sprixies? Oh, and Mario's finally free from his box head curse. And we saved yet another vertically stretched Sprixie. Okay, World 3-1, Snowball Park. This, I like seeing this level a lot when everything is small like this. I like the look of this. Hold on a second, hold on a second. This might be one of the most broken things ever. There's a propeller box right here. So. <laughs> okay, first of all, let's just take a moment to appreciate this in its beauty because this is just absolutely incredible. I think we'll trivialize this level even more now. Wait a minute, okay, the green star is there. I was wondering if the green star was there. Wow. Snow pokey. Its pieces are just floating apart. Tanuki Leaf, you know what? Ah, I wish I could have kept the capo power up instead. All right, let's just float on by. Where are we going? Oh, there's a skate too. How many power ups can we stack? What if we have the Tanuki Leaf? Oh, well, I guess the Goomba decided to jump off, so that. Why are the Goombas just floating off? Goombas, do not jump off. Okay, well, I guess I can't test if the skate is possible. Wait, hold on. Do you have to defeat these guys for- That rabbit is crazy! Rabbit, where- Oh my goodness, that is the most wild rabbit I have ever seen. I've never seen a rabbit that is this wild before. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get this stamp right over here. And we can just fly up here. Very nice. I'd like to get over there, please. This movement is so strange. Look at these raccoon body parts attached to the propeller box. But, that should be the end of the level. Our Raccoon Mario has completed the level. Oh man, this is an auto-scroller level. I forgot about this. World 3-2, Chain Link Charge. So what's this going to be like when it shrinks down? Oh, wait a minute. The auto-scrolling element has been removed. Okay, now we can just float on by and jump basically wherever we want. Hold on. Okay, so there's still the green star over there. Wait a minute, is there floor here? Is there floor here? I can't see where there's floor, I can't see where there's floor, I can't see what's going on. I can't see what's going on, okay, 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 this is fine. How am I going to get that? How am I going to get that? I think I'll do this. I think I'll do this, and this should be fine. Oh man. I don't know if this is harder or easier than what it's normally like. Let's try to avoid that warp box. There we go. Now we can get there without the warp box. I can't tell if this is making the level more difficult or easier. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! No! I was hoping I'd be able to recover that. That was so close. All right, let's just get that green star over there. Very nice. Now, we shouldn't have any problems continuing this way, right? Yeah, super easy. There we go. If only I could swipe that. Hold on. Can I climb up this tree? How high does this tree go? Okay, that tree goes pretty high. And that gets us to the top of the Goval. Very nice. Even little Mario is of a size that is comparable to the trees. All right, World 3-3, Shifty Boo Mansion. Wow, 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 wow. That's an interesting camera angle. I like how we could see the boo to the left there that hasn't entered yet. This boo is really a spirit. We could see the smudge behind it, the light that is coming from it. Oh yeah, one hit and I'm dead, so I should uh, probably be careful. Wait a minute. Is there no mystery box there? Maybe I'm confusing what mods of this game are like with the actual game. I don't remember where the green stars are anymore. Okay, I'd like to go in there. 
Well, I'm dead. Is there normally a warp box down there? Or do you have to jump into the painting? I don't remember. You take damage right away? Oh my goodness, I actually have to be careful to not die? What is this? Okay, let's try to go this way. I guess you don't even need the couch. You know what? Wait a minute, can you fall there? I don't know if you could fall there. Okay, camera, stop being like this. Camera, please, I'd like to... There we go. Thank you, camera. There we go. Now we can get the green star. Okay, so that's what you have to do for the green star. Okay, I don't want that mushroom over there. Don't care for it. Little boo spawns over there. A pipe! I don't think it'll be a real pipe. Haha, <laughs> I knew it! Anything up here? Wow, more time. Okay. Okay, let's continue on this way. Anything here? This is quite suspicious. This is very suspicious. Wow, but the ceiling is so low here. Like right there, Mario does a wall jump there. You can see he gets pushed down by the ceiling there. Okay, into the door we go. Don't know how Mario is able to fit into that door, but he is. Okay, and there we go, very nice. Now then, we probably don't want to head that way. So let's just continue on. <gasps> oh, oh, you can actually fall there. I didn't know that you could fall through those. I thought that it just graphically looked like it was split up, but it's actually split up. So you actually have to be careful to not die. Seeing speedruns of this would be so cool. Okay, so over here, we, ha we actually have to be careful to not die because you can die here. Okay, good, we made it across. Now how about these? Do I want to head up there? Do I want to head up there? Do I dare? Do I dare heading up there? I think I do. Now, is there going to be a green star here? Okay, there is the green star there. There we go. <laughs> Man. Okay, there we go. Now we can continue. Now we can continue. Now we will be able to go and reach. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I think you could actually fall there, which is absolutely terrifying. But this should be the final flag, and there we go. This was probably the toughest level so far. Captain Toad makes a splash. Okay, before we go to the next level, let's do the Captain Toad level first. And here we are, we've got a pretty big Captain Toad. I don't know if this is going to make things... Okay, that hitbox extends out pretty far. And I'm dead. <laughs> no, I didn't get it, I didn't get... I still didn't get it! Am I dead? I'm alive, I'm alive, haha. <laughs> Don't know how, but I'm alive. Let's head back here. Okay, let's get onto this platform. Very nice. Now over there. Yeah, I can't get in there, so let's go across this way. Okay, I can walk through here. Which is nice. Now we can... Wait! Oh, I didn't even realize that I got a green star there. Okay, but I got a green star there. Ah! Oh, fell. Is there anything to do here? No, I think I've got to go back over there. What if I get this one? Let's see what happens if I get this one. Wait a minute, I'm still missing quite a few green stars. It looks like there's a shadow there, but I don't see the green star itself. Right there, you can see a rotating shadow. I think that's for a green star, I'm guessing. It looks like that's for a green star. Are we oh, we can head in there. Okay, okay, so we did get that green star. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. You can run across the gap. There we go. All right, we are done the Captain Toad level. Okay, got a nice quick world here. World 3-4, pretty plaza panic. Wait a minute, is that green star normally there? I don't even remember. I played so many mods of this game. I don't remember where the normal stars are. Wow, that goes quickly. Oh, and it looks, oh. I was gonna say, it looks like we need Princess Peach here. Okay, here we go. Now, we can just head on over here, get this stamp, very nice. Can we float on over? Oh, I don't know how far we can float. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Stop it, stop it, Goobas, stop it, stop Goobas. There's a rabbit earlier. There's a rabbit earlier that was over here. That is a fast moving rabbit. A very fast moving rabbit, and Peach is so slow. So you know what we've gotta do? Gotta stop that rabbit, stop rabbit. And there we go, got the green star. Now let's just head into this cloud. A very large cloud compared to the rest of the level. Very tiny block there as she heads across, and we did get the green star, so we've got everything in the level now. Whoa, that Goomba still tried to snipe me at the end there. Wait a minute. How many coins are in this block? Uh, Alright. Is this the top? Okay, there we go. We got the top of the gobble. Very nice. I'll have to test how many coins are in this block. I wonder if it's infinite or not. 
Okay, Magikoopa blockade. It grows as you go into it. Very nice. Okay, let's go. Let's see what's going on. And we got a very nice one cycle Magikoopas. Okay, Pipeline Lagoon. Oh man, that is a lot closer than I was expecting it to be. The lighting here looks really nice. Very interesting lighting here. Oh, I like how we can see back there too. All right, let's just get this power up here. Ah, just a mushroom. Wow! Retro Luigi just flew by us. Those spiky guys are still just as scary. Okay, there's our first green star. Wow, that cannon sure shot us by quickly. Okay, let's go through this level again to get some of the green stars, because I don't know how I missed everything in this level. I missed basically everything here. Oh! Okay, there you go. There's the stamp. Okay, and there we go. We finally got our cannon box back. I don't like these guys around here. They're a bit scary. So let's do that. There's a pipe. Let's go down this pipe over here. Let's just make our way down this pipe. Just go down the pipe, Mario. Very nice. Very nice green star over there. Lots of fun stuff here. Now we can continue along. Oh! What? Okay, that was a bit confusing because this place is a bit smaller than normal, but there we go. There's the final green star. All right, very nice. And now we are able to complete the level. Very nice number of green stars. Let's continue on to the next level that we have over here to the side. We've got a small level here. If this is a racing level, now that the level is smaller, maybe that means we'll go through the level more quickly. Well, world 3-6. Mount must dash. Okay, I'm scared that I'm just going to run by everything in the level. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty easy to fall off here, which is frightening. Okay, so let's just head on down here. Very nice. Uh, you know what? I am going to go for the checkpoint flag. Very nice. We got the checkpoint flag. Now where? Oh, I went into a warp box. I didn't even know that I did. Okay. Hello, rabbit. Got the rabbit. Got the rabbit. Very nice. And just get the green star, and there we go, there we go. Pretty low ceiling here, too. Makes sense, because they don't want you to go out of bounds there. Oh, man, no! No, I wanted to do some wall jumps there, trying to recover. With all these dash panels that we have, and the jump panels, and these levels being so small, this is actually a part of the game where it's more difficult to play on the smaller version than the larger version. Oh, no, 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 don't go into the warp box, Mario! Okay, but, luckily, since the level is little, we should be able to do this. And that is nice, that is nice. There we go. Now we've got everything. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought this would be more difficult. Well, granted that we haven't finished the level yet. But there we go. We are done the level. That is a nice level to be finished. Okay, what is next? World 3-7 Switchboard Falls. This one is pretty difficult. And I'm wondering what this is going to be like with the level shrunken down. How small will these switchboards get? I know Mayro had a video about that, about- Oh! <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. I know Mayro had a video about making switchboards really small. Oh, oh, I lost the switchboard. Oh, it responds! I didn't know it responds. Okay, get away from me, Stingbees! Get away from me! Get away from me, Stingbees! Stingbees, stay back. Stay back, Stingbees. Stay back. Okay, can I jump out? Can I get out of the water? I'd like to get out of the water, but these bees, they're just chasing me. Is this water too deep for Mario to jump out of? What's happening? Mario won't jump out of this water. Okay, there we go. We got the fire flower. Okay, now, I know that I want to be careful here. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, and I can't get out of the water again. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, now I've got to be really, really careful here. I got out, I got out, I got out. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Now, what am I going to do here? How am I supposed to get across here? Let's do this. Why? Why does this happen? You can jump off of the walls. That makes life so much easier, knowing that you can jump off of the walls. I don't think this is working as intended. Let's see. Can we continue down? Maybe we can continue down. If I have the cat suit power up, maybe I could make that. Let's see. 
if this can work. Oh, you know what? Maybe we can do this. If we get on over to here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is a strategy. I don't think this takes us anywhere useful, does it? Let's see, where does this take us? Whoa. Okay, got a bunch of coins. Oh, and a green star. Nice. Okay, okay. Wow, I don't even remember a green star being there. Okay, but we made it to the checkpoint. Okay, this is amazing. Now, how will these work? Let's see. I'm scared that they'll just... Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm scared that they'll just suddenly disappear. Okay, at least I have a power-up so I just won't randomly die. There's a green star up there. Oh, man. Oh, man. This is something. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. Yes. There we go. There we go. So nice that we can get that green star. All right. Now, then, this part is going to be scary. Wait a minute. Oh, there's a green star right up there. So you know what? I can't remember if this one will go up there or if it'll just drop. Let's see. You know what? I should just jump over to the block itself. Okay, now then, let's just head on over to that box. So over there. Okay, at least we got the green star. Now I don't have to worry about getting the green star. I'm pretty sure that counts. Okay, using my favorite method of transportation, spin jumps. <gasps> what? What? What in the world is this? What in the world is this? Okay, good. And we have that green star, so that's good. That's one less thing to worry about. Now, can we get to there? That is the question. Can we get to there? I'd like to use the cat suit power-up, but... Nice, 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 nice. That works very nice, actually. Okay, so I want to head on over to about that waterfall there. So let's go like this. Okay, it's about here. Okay, and drop down. Nice, and to over there, and there we go, there we go, we completed the level. Oh wait, did I miss this stamp? The stamp is down there? How in the world are we supposed to get that stamp? I don't know if we could survive after getting that stamp. Because I don't think we could ride the switchboards over to there. Yeah, because that one disappears. I can try to go for this stamp, but hold on, where's the stamp? It's like... A little bit before the waterfall. Okay, I don't know if we can reach it from here, but we can try. It'll be like right over there. How close am I to it? <gasps> I'm kind of close to it. No! That was so close. But wait a minute, even if I get the stamp, can I complete the level? I think I need my cat suit power up to be able to complete the level after that. Okay, here we go again. Now then, how close am I to it? Okay, I'm kind of aligned with it. Nice! Okay, okay, we got the stamp, but you have to complete the level for it to count, and I don't know if we can complete the level, so it's not time to celebrate yet. Let's just do this, let's just do this. Go for it, YOLO! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! And we got the top of the flag! Oh my goodness! I didn't think we'd be able to get the stamp, but we got the stamp and we cleared the level without using the cat suit power-up? That's unbelievable. All right, we are at the World 3 Castle, the Bullet Bill Express, and yeah. Oh, oh, it's kind of foggy down here. All right, I wonder if this is going to be auto-scrolling or not. Let's see how big the train will be and if it's auto-scrolling or not. The train is still moving. Okay, the bullet bills that are being shot out of the cannon are bigger than the cannons. That Whoa, flopters are coming, okay. Uh, is there a green star on top of them? There is a green star on top of them. Can I get up there? I'd like to get up there. Please, please. Okay, thank you. Let's get this mushroom. Man, this is very chaotic right now. These flopters look like they're just coming out of nowhere. That is a very large bullet bill. I don't think there's anything in these crates, is there? Let's see. Here we go. There. Okay, I'll go for it. Okay, okay, we got it. We got the stamp. Wait a minute! Our train was just floating on nothing! Alright, let's head over to the other side here. And we can save Captain... No! I wanted to save Captain Toad! Okay, let's go back. I think we still have a shot at saving Captain Toad. Here we are. And now we can just break this block. 
Break this crate. Wow! How did you fit in that crate? You are larger than the crate was. You must have been really squished inside that crate. Whoa! Fireballs! Okay, and there we go. I don't have any power-ups. I don't have any power-ups. I am going to have to beat Pom Pom without using any power-ups. Hey, little Pom Pom versus little Mario. Who will win? Alright, who do we go for? One of them is out of bounds. I wouldn't be able to jump on it if it spawned there. Where's the real one? The real one's over there off to the side. I can't jump on it. Okay, where's the real Pom Pom? Okay, there we go. Now we can jump on the real Pom Pom. Alright, where's the real Pom Pom? Right here? Oh my goodness, there we go! We made it! Well, we haven't made it to the flag yet. It's not time to celebrate yet. Okay, here we go, over to the little castle. And let me guess, let me guess, there's gonna be a Sprixie with a cork on its head. Yeah, we could already see it a bit in the background there. Alright. Hello, Sprixie. Mario, Mario, help! I've got a cork on my head! Don't worry, Sprixie. I'll take care of not only that cork on your head, but I'll also shatter that glass jar that's beside you. And... There we go. I think it might be tiny. That looks... Is that smaller than normal? I think that might be smaller than normal. Yes! The histic... Oh man, yes, it is very clear that this level is indeed smaller than normal. Oh man, there isn't a platform to step on here. I almost jumped down right there. Okay, let's try this then. Can I make it? You can't make it- Oh, maybe this is done on purpose because this level hasn't been edited yet? I think that's what it is. I wanna see what happens if I head on over there. Hold on, can I stand on anything here? What the? What in the world? What the? There is a platform there? Oh my goodness, I thought there was no platform there. Okay, and we've got a little histocrat here. This histocrat looks shorter than usual. Okay, I think this is going to be a pretty easy boss fight. I think Mario can just jump up like this. Whoa! Histocrat's higher now! What is going on? How do you get higher? What are you doing, Histocrat? Why are the snakes out there? What is going on here? Am I supposed to climb up the boss now? I don't think I could climb up the boss. I don't know how much these snakes are going to help. They don't go very high at all. Maybe I need Luigi. What if I stand here? Oh no, I don't know if I can get on top of the boss. Since Luigi can jump higher, let's do this with Luigi. Okay, this first hit should be easy there. Easy first hit. Just like before. Now let's see, can Luigi get high enough? Because Luigi can jump, I think, a bit higher than Mario. He could normally jump a bit higher than Mario. I don't know if he also can in this game. Okay, very nice, very nice. That is a good way to get a second hit on the boss there. Very nice. Let's see, does it go even higher? It looks like it's getting higher and higher every time, but I don't know if it actually is or if it just looks like it. Nope, but there we go. Three hits on Histocrat. A big thank you to Mayro for making and sharing this mod. This was absolutely amazing. I love this mod so much. This was so funny to play through, and this was such a nice change in the level. It's something that is such a simple concept to do, just shrinking down the level, but it changes the gameplay and the level so much. This was absolutely fantastic. If you are somehow subscribed to me, but not to Mayro, go subscribe to Mayro. The content on Mayro's channel is fantastic. If you like the stuff on my channel, you'll like the stuff on Mayro's channel. If you'd like to see more custom mods made by myself and others, tests in games showing what is possible, and fun experiments, you might enjoy some of my other videos, and you can click the subscribe button if you'd like because you'll be notified when new videos come out. Hoping that you all have a fantastic day ahead of you, and take care everybody.